and see how it feels. It feels better already. Good. But I still feel so foolish falling down like that during the parade. <sighs> Perils of being a drum majorette. Your mother's here to take you home. She bought you a nice warm cup. And this is a prescription for you in case you have trouble with pain. I don't expect you're going to need it. I think you'll really find that the worst of it is over. But one thing that you do have to do is you have to stay off that foot just for a little while. Go home, sit down, put your foot up. Watch TV. I heard that they're going to rerun the parade on the news. You might be able to see yourself marching past the reviewing stand. Thank you, Dr. You're Weber. welcome. Oh, your shoe. You don't want to go that bad. Can't forget that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, it certainly is a big difference from last night, isn't it? Last night, that terrible accident, and today all we've had is cold noses, cold toes, and one sprained ankle. Leslie, do you have any idea if Diana made it to the parade today? No, I haven't. Strange. Well, I think we were successful in calming Jeff down. You think we were? Yes, I got a call from him. He'd gone over to see Diana to try and explain how he felt. And... He wanted to apologize for some of the things he said to us. But you sound like he didn't see her. No, he wasn't able to find her. He thought possibly that she'd left for the hospital already. Maybe she did. Maybe she joined the rest of the nurses in the parade. Well, I guess that's a possibility. He was a little bit upset when he couldn't talk to her. He thought for a second maybe she'd taken PJ and just run off somewhere. Oh, no, Diana's not going to do that. She has legal rights, and I'm sure she realizes that. Yeah. Has Jeff talked to Steve? He didn't say, but I, I think he was trying to get legal advice first. Oh, really? Well, that sounds good. That sounds like maybe you're right. Maybe we did get through to him. Dr. Weber? Yes. The nurse uh, said that uh, you didn't have a patient at the moment, so... Um... Oh, yes. Um, hello. I think you know Mr. Castle, Rick. Yes. Hello, Dr. Weber. Don't tell me you're stopping by again to thank Leslie for helping with your first mate. That's been some time ago. I could never thank her enough. It's not every day you find a doctor who'll make house calls. Oh, it's not every day you get to make a house call on a big, beautiful yacht. Well, we have to see to it that uh, your next visit won't be a professional one. I came by to ask if you could take some time off to have tea with me. Oh, I, I really can't leave the hospital. Well, I understand uh, up on the main floor there's a cafeteria, and uh, I thought we could have some tea. Please, uh, join me. I won't keep you long, I promise. Well... No, please, please go. I can hold down the fort while you're gone. Please. Well, in that case, mm. I'd love to. Thank you. Thank you. Doctor? Yes. Hi. Excuse me. Uh -huh. Do you have the morning paper? No, I'm sorry, Heather, but if you feel like reading today, they have lots of good books in the library. No, I... I just wanted to know what's going on in Port Charles today. <laughs> well, why don't you watch TV? They're showing highlights of this morning's Bicentennial Parade. You, you Thanks. that all the time. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. Every time, yeah. Should we... There she is again. That's good because she has That's a good. Don't touch the dial. We want to watch the parade. I know, I just want to see if the news was on yet. Well, it's not. Just keep your hands off the set. Yeah. All right. <laughs> they must have found Diane's body by now. Joe, I want your word. Anything you learn about this case never leaves this room. Otherwise, I'll break you. You have my word. All right, now that we've settled that, let's get down to business. How does Ann Logan spell her first name? A-N-N -N or A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, as it is on that kitchen it's, floor. It's got an E on the end, but damn it, oh, Hey, will you... Will you please keep your voice down? We don't want to disturb Mrs. Grant. Bert, I am trying to tell you, somebody wrote A-N-N-E in Diana's blood in there, yes. But does that mean that Ann Logan killed Diana Taylor? Joe, Diana Taylor's fingertips were covered with blood. So you're absolutely convinced that she tried to write the name of... Your friend, huh?
Any word by PJ? No, no, nothing so far. How's Mrs. Grant? I finally got her to drop off this. Possible that this maniac who killed Diana could have taken PJ? I'm wondering the same thing. Say your prayers, Howard. I have been, Joe. Look, uh, I'd like to get out of here for a little while. That's right with you. Well, it's okay with me. I'm sure, Mr. Lansing, I don't have to tell you not to mention this case when you're on the outside. Don't Look, talk to anybody. I wouldn't do anything to keep you from catching this maniac who killed Diana. I just want to, uh, you know, ask in the neighborhood, see if anybody's seen PJ. Well, good luck. All right, if, uh, if Mrs. Grant wakes up, tell her I'll be right back. Right, will do. Any word on the kid? Uh, not yet, but we haven't searched the entire building. Okay. Come on. Captain, I... What's up? I, uh... Talked to a neighbor across the hall. She said she saw a woman right outside Mrs. Taylor's door last night. What? She's out in the hallway if you want to talk to her. Oh, sure I do. Did she uh, say anything about this lady she saw? Just that she was young and was wearing a nurse's outfit. Or... Oh, come on, come on. Hey, you can come along, Joe. Is this the lady? Yes, Mrs. Parker. This is Captain Ramsey of Homicide. Mrs. He's Martin. in charge of the Captain. case. Okay, Sergeant, thanks very much. Okay. Sergeant. Mm hmm. You've just got to find that little boy. We'll do our best, ma'am. Oh, it's terrible enough what happened to poor Mrs. Taylor. But if something's happening to they that dear... They haven't even finished uh, searching the building yet, ma'am. Excuse oh. me, Mrs. Parker, this is uh, Mr. Joe Kelly. How do you do? I understand you told Sergeant Wilson that you saw a woman outside Diana Taylor's apartment. Oh, yes. Yes, I definitely did. Would you describe her for us, please? Well, she was young. How young? Oh, I'm not very good at ages, but I'd say, uh, uh maybe mid-20s or yeah, late Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Oh. We just want a general description, that's all. Um, could you describe her hair? Was it, uh, blonde, brunette, red? Brunette, what? brunette, brunette. Definitely brunette. And how about her height? How tall was she? Oh, my goodness. I I'm just not good at things well, like all right. this. Well, all right. Well, your own I... height. Where would she come to on you? How tall? Oh, well, I'd say ab about here. Uh-huh. You said you saw her at uh, Mrs. Taylor's front door? That's right. That doesn't mean to say that you saw her leaving Mrs. Taylor's apartment. I saw her coming from Mrs. Taylor's uh, front door. Where else would she be coming from? I saw it for a fact. Now, the sergeant also said that you said that the uh, woman was wearing a, uh, a uniform. That's right. Yes, she was. Can you describe the uniform? Yes, it was a nurse's uniform. And she had one of those fancy capes thrown over it. Fancy capes? Like the nurses wore in the Port Charles Wheat Parade today. Yes, yes, I see. Oh, as a matter of fact, I think I saw that girl today. You saw her? With the nurses in the parade. One of the women carrying the General Hospital banner looked yes. just like the one I saw last night. It won't be long now. They'll find Diana's body. <laughs> Mrs. Parker, is there anything else you can tell us? Well, no, not that I can think of. Well, was she wearing a hat? Was she carrying a purse? If so, what kind of a purse did she have? Well, no, because she was carrying so much stuff. She was carrying stuff? Uh, well, clothes or something. The woman was carrying clothes? Well, I didn't pay much attention because I didn't think anything about it at the time. Well, everything looks sort of alike. Well, what do you mean alike? In, in shape and color? Uh, color. What? Color, color, that's it. Sort of like the color of the cape she had thrown over her. The nurse's cape? Oh, could be. I, I just don't know. Uh, Mrs. Parker, do you think that you could make a positive identification if you saw a picture of this woman? Oh, yes. Like I said, I thought I saw her today. Mm, okay, fine. We appreciate what you told us so far. We may need you later if you'll keep yourself available. Oh, I most certainly will. Whoever did this terrible thing has just got to be caught. Yes, ma'am. No luck, Ampres. Have you covered the whole building? Uh, not quite, Captain. Oh, my goodness. What if that woman... What if under all those capes she... Oh, now, please, Mrs. Parker, don't even put a thought like that in your mind. Uh, Mrs. Parker, maybe... We haven't finished the search yet, ma'am. Apartment and that we'll be available if Captain Ramsey needs you. Yes, go ahead. All right. So, what do we stand for, us? Well, uh, no sign of the boy from the top floor down to this floor, but we still have the basement to cover. Well, you go check with Wilson, see if he's found out anything, and then come back and report to me. Huh? Yes, sir.
have survived all the marching in the parade. Except for a few blisters, everyone came out in fine shape. Good, good. Now, you're up on the desk on five, Jane. And, um, well, let's see about you, Stella. Oh, well, you're there, too. Well, good. Now you two can compare notes on how much fun you had today, huh? Not on hospital time. Hop two, young ladies. Hop two. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, it was a wonderful parade, Georgia. Sorry you missed it. Well, I had to stay here and hop too, Dan. <laughs> well, Georgia, perhaps this little memento will help milk your day. Oh, well, thank you, Dr. Hardy. How nice. How'd your speech go? Uh, maybe Dan can answer that. Oh, it was great. Great, yeah. Good. Steve, uh, I'd like to talk to you for a minute before you head for your office. Sure, Dan. What's on your mind? Uh, let's get over here out of the way, huh? Something serious? Well, uh... Let's put Nurse it this way. Rojas, it's uh, something rather Nurse strange. Rojas, to I uh, talked to Audrey about it last night. Uh -huh. Yeah, she said she didn't want to talk to you about it until after the parade today. All right, Dan, let's have it. Well, I was working late last night with some last-minute details for the parade when Jeff came in here like a man possessed. What was wrong with him? I wish I could answer that. I just don't know. Was he drinking again? Oh, no. No, no, absolutely not. But he came charging in here and demanded the keys for the records room on the fourth floor. Pediatrics? What for? <laughs> I don't know. But he just grabbed the keys from Georgia, went up there, and he went through the files without authorization. Good Lord. I know Jeff's been going through an awful lot lately, but to let it interfere with his professional sense of right and wrong. Well, Rick tried to take charge and smooth things over for the nurses and me. One brother protecting another. Well, nobody breaks the rules around here. Nobody. Oh, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Steve. Don't do, be, be too hard on him. You know, he... I wouldn't have told you this, except I thought you ought to know. You know, there's got to be a good reason for Jeff behaving this way. And I intend to find out. Oh, look, Steve. Don't worry, Dan. I'll take care of the situation. Any messages for me, George? Oh, yes. Now, here they are, Dr. Hardy. And there are three here from Jeff Weber that are urgent. Hmm? He's waiting for you up in your office. Good, good. Oh, hello, Steve. Hi. How was the parade? Oh, uh, the parade. It went fine. And how are things down in emergency? Um, pretty much under control. All the uh, patients from last night's accident were taken care of, and today's just been minor stuff huh. due to the parade. Um, oh, I don't think that uh, you've met Mr. Castle, Tony Castle. It's Dr. Steve Hardy. He's our chief of staff. How do you do? It's nice to meet you, uh, Dr. Hardy. Um, I took care of a, a crew member on Mr. Castle's boat, and he's come by to thank me and invite me to have some tea with him. Well, well it's nice to meet you, Mr. Castle. Excuse me. Bye. Dr. Castle,